Con nosotros en la casa, Don Hardwell. How are you, buddy? I'm good. Yourself? I'm so happy uh, to be here with you. Thank you for coming to Thanks Medusa. Thanks for having me. We are... We're in Valencia. Yeah. Fireworks are like uh, just a religion here in Valencia. So we can yeah, just yeah. do the interview because otherwise, I think everyone will. Ah, it's okay. Let's wait. So the five minutes are over. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for this interview, guys. Thank you, Fireworks. Uh, well, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. We are uh, willing to see you there in the main stage. Uh, 60,000 people tonight here uh, in Medusa. Um, what do you feel being here? How do you feel being here in, in, in Valencia? I'm really happy to be back in Valencia. And, you know, it's always great to party in Spain. And, uh, well, I should mention Medusa Festival, 60,000 people on the main stage. Afrojack is playing before me. It's a great, great lineup. So I'm really excited yeah, yeah. to be here. Also, like DJ Snake was playing uh, yesterday. Uh, Cal Cox is playing tonight. Vintage Culture, uh, like a bunch of DJs. Um, how do you um, play a set like this? Do you prepare? Do you have your in your mind, like you go with the vibe, with the crowd? How do you, how no, do you do for guys? festivals like this, yeah, especially during the summer, you know, we, we play so many festivals and so many club shows that I just go by the flow, you know, I just watch the crowd and just improvise the whole set. And I think that's what's the most fun part about being a DJ. You just yeah. go on stage, read the crowd and make the best party possible. Sure. You went to Barcelona last week, I think. Exactly. Yeah. It yeah. was incredible. It was a really good show. Really yeah, good show. Yeah. You've been to Tomorrowland. Tell me about your summer. How has been your schedule? Like... Uh, it's been great. You know, we've, we've played so many great festivals during the summer. I uh, closed Smogfest in Denmark last night. It was amazing. And obviously, as you mentioned, Tomorrowland, I closed the main stage. It and was, uh, it was I, I was there. It was amazing. Yeah, it was a really, really good show. Well, Tomorrowland is always like top notch, but uh, this year was like they topped it again. It was amazing. How do you feel when you, uh, you know, you give that vibe to the people and you receive also the power? You know, people crying. Uh, I mean, I don't know. How do you how do you feel after after a show I, like, like that? I'm really exhausted after the show. Like uh, the first hour, I'm like super hyped up, yeah, full of adrenaline, and then within an hour, like the tiredness just kicks in and just go to sleep. And, and how do you keep time. the energy? Like you, you guys, like your schedule is crazy. People maybe doesn't know, but you don't sleep. You're like just traveling the world. You know, like, yeah, how do you yeah. up the energy with... Well, with I'm, I'm not doing that many shows as I did before, so I always try to find the right balance between being in the studio and being on stage. But the summer is always crazy and a little hectic, but, you know, that's what I'm used to in the summer. And yeah. I, I, on the other hand, I really like to be on stage almost every single day. And, yeah, I play all the major festivals. I'm really a festival kind of guy. I love being on festivals. You're a legend. You've been around forever. We love your music. We love your, your work. It's amazing. Thank uh, you so much. But, I know it's difficult to answer that question, but what do you prefer, like being in the studio, like focus on your work, uh, having the energy of a great festival like this one? It's, that's a really good question. And I always answer like the same way, like it, it goes hand in hand, you know, like if I don't do any shows, I don't get inspiration to make new music. And right. if I'm only in the studio, what I prefer being in the studio is that I can create something that never existed before and playing out something that never existed before is always like a really great feeling. I think that's the best feeling in the world when you hear people sing along to something you created yourself. Yep. So, but I th yeah, as I mentioned, it, it goes hand in hand, you know, like I, I can't play any festivals and make music because I get uninspired any other way around. So the moment I finish something new in the studio, I can't wait to be on stage and play it out yeah, loud. Yeah, so. like just showing to the people. Exactly. Where yeah, do you yeah. get the inspiration from then? From the people, from the energy? Yeah, the energy, the people being surrounded with all the people that love my music and love festivals and love EDM. And when you're DJing, you, you get so much energy from the crowd and you see what work and what doesn't work and I think I use that in my advantage to create new music. Mm. Arnold, we are so happy to talk to you. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you. you for having five minutes to, to talk to us. Uh, this is your camera if you want to say just whatever you want to the Spanish fans. They are just uh, of course. hearing you. What's up Spain? Live from Medusa Festival. This is Hardwell. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I can't wait to get on stage and party with you guys and I hope to see you all soon. Grande! Thank you, thank you.